I recently discovered the awesome way to animate faces. Now I can use FaceGood and make even more detailed facial animations for MetaHumans. I'm very excited to announce a new capability to the MetaHuman product, MetaHuman Animator and Action. I'm acting scared or angry. <sighs> this takes only a few seconds. I'm acting scared or angry. <sighs> Hi everyone, I know it's been quite some time since Unreal announced their new technology, but I still want to share my thoughts on it with you. So, as I mentioned in my previous video, I've been exploring a program for facial animation, I spent some time on it, watched tutorials, and did some tests. I even bought an action camera and accessories for it to record my face and use the data for facial animation in the new programs that I learned. And then I watched a presentation by Unreal. So they started with the new version of Unreal Engine 5.2, but what really caught my attention was the new technology related to MetaHuman. As you may know, MetaHuman is probably one of the main reasons why I started learning Unreal. And I was completely focused on that part of the presentation. I was really interested in what new things they would bring. And all of a sudden they were like, now you can animate faces in just 5 seconds. You record your face on iPhone or stereo cameras that allow you to scan and record 3D objects simultaneously. In general, you use your iPhone to record yourself, then transfer everything to Unreal, make one or two clicks, and it's done. The system gives you an animation that almost 80 to 90% complete. I was just shocked. I had to stand up and think about what just happened. At that moment, I had mixed emotions, and I still do. It's incredibly cool, it's a super advanced technology, and it's great that it's also free. But on the other hand, I kind of spent time learning a new program and... Unreal, why now? <laughs> why couldn't you have announced this a little bit later? I mean... I had already started making a short film and... Well, okay, okay. It's all jokes, of course, and of course all these things happen, and there's nothing you can do about it. Technologies are moving forward, especially with the development of artificial intelligence. So you have to constantly learn new technologies, adapt to them. It's just very important to stay up to date, constantly learn new things and use current technologies. So, yeah. It's a little bit frustrating, of course, that I spent time learning the program, but on the other hand, it's still unknown when exactly Unreal will release this update for MetaHuman. I'll probably still finish my short film based on The Last of Us using this technology for facial animation. I mean, I can't just wait for months for a new plugin from Unreal. So, in general, I guess I didn't waste my time learning this program. It will probably be enough for one project. And then I'll probably switch to the MetaHuman plugin and use it exclusively for facial animation. Well, that's all. <laughs> that's all I wanted to say. Oh, and definitely check out at least the part about MetaHuman in the new Unreal presentation. It's just so cool. I can't wait to try it out. And stay tuned for updates on my short film. Hopefully I'll have something new to show you soon. So, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and bye everyone! <laughs>